just kind of had a flash from the past. Uh, I had a buddy friend request me on Facebook that I lost track of. Uh, real good guy. He was involved with our uh, Young Life group, you know, as a kid. Probably back in 99. Uh, you know, maybe 98 to 2000 or 2001, something like that. Uh, his name was Jeff. Uh, we called him Tug, Tugboat. Uh, because, you know, he's, he was, uh, he's a pretty big guy. I mean, he's a sturdy guy. And, um, you know, a lot of fun. Life of the party. Uh, did a great uh, Matt Foley, you know, Chris Farley imitation. Hysterical. I remember he did this, uh, you know, fat guy in a little coat. That whole thing. Uh, did that in club one time. Uh, brought the house down. Ripped the coat and everything. It was great. Uh, but anyway, he was going through kind of a tough time, um, I don't know, maybe his junior year, and, um, you know, we, talk, we talked quite a bit, you know, he'd give me a call, and, uh, I mean, he really steeped into some pretty, pretty deep depression, you know, he was really having a hard time, and, you know, I don't remember what kind of home life, you know, he had, I don't know what he grew up with. Um, in terms of a mom or dad or stable home, but I, I do remember him being, you know, self-admittedly, you know, pretty insecure about himself, and you know, he didn't come across like that. But um, but he really battled with some depression, and so I just kind of walked, you know, with him through it, you know. But you know, along the same time, he had um, a girlfriend. And uh, her parents kind of forbid them to see each other. And I, I honestly don't remember why. He was a good guy, but, you know, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't remember what the deal was there. But, uh, you know, I did think, you know, I think he had too much of his self-esteem, like his self-worth pinned up in this relationship. So when it, when it started to go south, he just... I mean, he spiraled. So he'd call me at, you know, 7 or 8 at night. Um, or even, you know, more like 10, 11, 12, you know, 1. And he would just kind of share with me, you know, what's going on. I, I literally would have to, well, not obviously, figuratively would have to talk him down off the ledge. I mean, uh, he got to the point where he really was, um, you know, a little bit suicidal. Uh, I don't think he was real serious about it, but he just, you know, he talked about it. You know, Darren, my, my life is meaningless. There's really no purpose. Um, and so we would just talk. Honestly, on my end, I didn't really know what I was doing. I, you know, I'm not a counselor, uh, trained, you know, professional counselor. I just love God and I love people. And that's what got me into ministry in the first place. So I just love this kid, you know, and we... We um, would talk for a long time, and well, he would talk, I would listen, and I honestly felt a little inept. I felt like I don't really know how to help you. You know, I, I love you. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say. You know, and so I felt a little bit like I I failed him. Um, but he would keep calling me, and so we'd keep chatting, and I would just keep listening. You know, and I just brought him back to God's love for him. God's plan for his life and my love for him and um, you know he got through it and a little little while later um, I was helping out with this Catholic youth group um, just you know I would go out every couple weeks and do music for them play some songs some worship songs some young life songs um, and we had maybe three or four kids that were involved with Young Life and this Catholic youth group. So, you know, it was good contact work. It was good to come in contact with those kids anyway. And uh, Tug went out to this thing, and youth group leader asked him to share his story. And so he was like, sure, yeah, I'll do that. So he shared about him going through this depression and how God, you know, helped him out. And this one kid finally said, dude, but Tug, like what? I don't get it. What got you through it? He's like, well, God did. He's like, well, how? I don't get it. Like, what, 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 what happened that 
all of a sudden it just broke and you know how'd you get through it and he just points it points at me I'm sitting in the back points at me and he said it was because of him and I you know my eyes got wide I'm like whoa didn't know about that one and and the kid said why what'd he do and what'd he say and I'm thinking the same thing I'm like what'd I do what I say I don't I don't remember doing or saying anything and all he said was he was there and he listened and that saved my life so there were two things that really um, stood out in that as far as a life lesson goes um, God taught me a couple different things through that situation one you just never know what's going on with somebody you know um, this kid was happy-go-lucky everything was great on the outside and it, you know and he wasn't fake I'm not saying he was fake at all he was a very genuine guy um, but you just never know what's going on in somebody's heart like down deep inside stuff you know and two the other thing that really struck me was that you know I realized that I really don't have much to offer um, and it really isn't about my wisdom or ability to talk somebody off a ledge or minister to somebody's heart. It's about me being being in love with Christ and having a relationship with Him. And it's about people seeing that in me. And it's about His presence through me. It's about His presence through you, if you so choose. But... I really took the performance, you know, pressure off of me and made me realize that, man, my whole job is just to, just to frame around the artwork, you know, a simple frame. I, I don't, all I do is point to Christ and all I do is emphasize his amazing presence in my life and what God is doing continually in me. And, um, and just point people to him, you know. So I don't know how I don't know how Tug is doing. Um, literally, this was yesterday. I got this friend request, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, I can't wait to catch up with you." But you know, I was in the middle of stuff. So, but he does have a wife, beautiful wife, and a gorgeous little child. Looks like she's, she's probably uh, two months old. I think it was a she. Anyway. It was beautiful, but, um, but I'll leave you with this. When God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, his presence is the greatest gift he could give us. God is good.